It's getting hard to keep up with all these Quran-inspired atrocities that have nothing to do with Islam. We know they have nothing to do with Islam because our politicians keep telling us that and they are all Islamic scholars. They are, aren't they? Yes, the violence is coming exclusively from Muslims, but only because their religion, the one that has nothing to do with Islam, tells them to kill unbelievers, meaning people who don't follow the religion with a knife to our throat that has nothing to do with Islam. It's true that the more Muslims there are in a society, the more dangerous it is for gay people and Jews, but Islamic gay hatred and Islamic Jew hatred have no more to do with Islam than Quran-based Islamic terrorism. None of the violence in Islamic scripture, page after page of it, has anything to do with Islam. When Muslim terrorists quote the Quran as they're killing people, you don't seriously think that's got anything to do with the religion they follow. That could be any book they're quoting from. They just happen to pick that one because it's their religion. Duh! I mean, what are we saying here? That we should ban all books now? Let's keep it real. Of course, if you follow the religion that has nothing to do with you-know-what, then only one book really matters, and we all know which one that is. It's the book that goes out of its way to make an enemy of the rest of mankind. It's the book whose influence is currently making Western society more dangerous, less tolerant, less civilised and less free, while we dance around the maypole and call it multiculturalism. But this slow draining away of our fundamental freedoms and cowardly betrayal of future generations has nothing to do with Islam, apart from the fact that it has everything to do with it. But that doesn't mean it has anything to do with it. Don't be so racist. The partiality of British police, who operate a brazen double standard that favours Muslim sensibilities, has no more to do with Islam than the partiality of the law itself that will jail you for burning a Quran, but not a Bible, because Muslims are more important than Christians. Not that that's got anything to do with Islam. Perish the thought. The irrational, violent hatred that erupts at any depiction of the Prophet of Islam has nothing to do with the religion he founded. Nor does the fact that so many of our fearless journalists shrink like salted slugs whenever some bearded muppet shakes his fist and pretends to be offended. The fact that for years we've allowed Saudi Arabia to pour billions into funding mosques and madrasas that are now turning out fighters for the Islamic State has nothing to do with Islam. The dozens of Sharia courts in Britain that treat women as less than fully human are simply enforcing Islamic law. What has that got to do with Islam? The imposition of halal meat on people without their knowledge or consent, just because Muslims' religion demands it, doesn't make it Islam's fault. Their religion has nothing to do with Islam. That is so racist. Let me help you out with a little basic rule of thumb on this. None of the terrible things that are happening in the world today, inspired by Islam and mandated by Islamic scripture, have anything to do with and I think you can finish that sentence yourself. If Islam didn't exist, those things would still be happening. Well, OK, that's not quite true. They wouldn't be happening, but that's got nothing to do with the religion of intolerance, censorship and mealy-mouthed excuses that currently poses a real and immediate threat to our freedom. Besides, it's only a threat because of its violent fundamental values. And the violent fundamental values of Islam have nothing to do with the religion they come from. What are you trying to insinuate here? That world domination, as mandated by the Quran, somehow has something to do with Islam of all faiths. Kill unbelievers wherever you find them. Yes, Islam says that, but that doesn't mean it has anything to do with it. And if you say it does, you're being very unhelpful and you are a racist. Checkmate. Meanwhile, back in the real world, I think it's a very desirable and healthy idea to want nothing to do with Islam. Although, in fairness, it's not Islam as such that I want nothing to do with. It's intolerance, misogyny, homophobia, anti-Semitism, racism, violence and manufactured offence, which unfortunately rules out having anything to do with a religion that has nothing to do with itself. Peace. And that really does have nothing to do with Islam.